Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jonathan and welcome back to Permaslug. This is a YouTube channel I've wanted to start for a long time, so I'm just quickly introducing it as this is my first video. Um, the idea is just basically that this channel will be around everything to do with WordPress, internet marketing, all that kind of stuff. Basically everything that I do for my clients. Just a brief bit about myself. I don't like to call myself a freelancer or agency or really anything. I'm just a dude that helps local small businesses um, get really solid websites at a fair price, but um, I strive for perfection and high quality. A lot of times I'll help my clients with search engine optimization and sometimes social media, uh, sometimes a little bit of both. But I just wanted to share kind of my process and my workflow uh, because I'm really proud of how things turn out for my customers. Um, I have some good friends and people all across the country that I know that come to me for advice and tips. So I just figured it would be a good way for me to kind of um, do something fun that I enjoy, which is sharing, helping people learn and get better. Um, and so I'm going to cover a broad range of topics, which I'll get into in another video. But specifically today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about the Oxygen Builder for WordPress and why I uh, feel so strongly that it is the best builder out there. Specifically today, we're going to talk about some beginners, FAQ, or people that are new to Oxygen and what they ask every single time. Um, just about every single person asks right off the bat, will this work with my current theme? I understand that question, but uh, you have to understand that Oxygen is actually a plugin. So it is not a conventional builder in the sense that you go to pages, you click on edit, and then this weird little box pops up and it says add row, add your elements. It's not like that at all. Basically, Oxygen disables your theme entirely. And that might scare you because it's going to com completely render your site um, almost inoperable. It's going to be blank as soon as you act activate Oxygen, um, depending on how you have it set up. But that's not all that bad because Oxygen is designed to be a complete builder from the ground up. You do everything. You design your header, your footer, you can do your 404 pages, search pages, everything within Oxygen. So there's a, a number of other benefits to not actually needing a theme. Uh, first of all, one really amazing thing to me is that you can stop buying premium themes from Theme Forest or whatever. Um, in my case, and probably your case as well, a lot of times we're buying themes for client sites. Um, so you're instantly spending $60 or whatever you're paying for a premium theme, which of course you probably have factored into your invoice and your pricing for that customer, at least I hope. Um, and then you don't have to do that anymore, which is awesome. Oxygen is a one-time fee, which we'll cover uh, later in this video. I'm sure some people have objections to that, which doesn't make sense to me, but we'll cover it anyway. And then um, a lot of those premium themes are really heavy and sloppy. They, they output a ton of code, especially depending on the builder you're using, like WP Bakery or one of those. Um, it's just like dirty, heavy code that slows down your site and just makes it really hard to keep it updated and clean. So that's kind of where Oxygen shines. Uh, right now you can see I'm on their tour page and this just gives you all the fancy features. Um, nice little sales page. This website of course was built in Oxygen. And so what I did was fired up a test install, which you can do and I definitely encourage you to do. And this is what the builder actually looks like. So the header up here is actually part of a template called page. This is just the um, just the example site again. But it's really amazing because you can basically do anything you want. One thing that was really frustrating to me using any other builder like WP Bakery or one of those was that it was really hard to align content. Um, specifically if I wanted, you know, some text halfway to the right, some on the left. There's there's a number of examples. It's, it's hard to, to just come up with one off the top of my head. But it uses Flexbox, which is a fantastic tool for you to be able to just easily modify content exactly how you want to do it. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to it first because you have to understand the relationship between divs and the elements in a section as opposed to multiple divs and that sort of thing, but it's incredibly powerful once you get the hang of it. Um, so we can discuss specifically uh, kind of like a beginner's deep dive uh, more, more you know, in, in another video. Um, but that brings me to my next point, which is, is oxygen for beginners? Um, I would argue that yes, absolutely it is, but there are a couple things you need to consider. First of all, like I said, it's going to completely disable your theme, so you're going to have to start from the ground up. And that may scare you away from it, but all you really need to do is just start on either your own site, maybe a client site, something like that, and just kind of get the hang of it. Um, from there, uh, you know, kind of back to the learning curve point, you're definitely going to have some challenges that you'll face to get really optimized and really um, quick at Oxygen, which is fine because once you do, you're going to wish that you had started, you know, six months ago when, when the Alpha 2 came out. 
Um, and then the knowledge, even just a basic knowledge of CSS and HTML is gonna be extremely powerful. You don't actually have to write any of that code if you don't want to, but having the ability to do so is just gonna take you from you know, really advanced just by using Oxygen to extremely advanced, just having that little basic bit of knowledge. So what I would encourage you to do is first of all, just try it here um, on their test installs. You can see there's all kinds of stuff you can mess with. It's pretty pretty well built. It has just about every component that you could need right out of the box. Um, but yeah, just get in there and try it. And my recommendation would be to either rebuild your own site on a staging environment, or the next time you sign up a client, just factor in some extra time. I don't think you can necessarily bill a client for that learning time in good conscience, but if that's the way you do things, then then so be it. Um, but just factor in that extra time and try to do it. You may get, get discouraged because of course you're gonna be trying to learn something new, but if you're kind of an entrepreneur and you're out there trying to grow your own business or, or help clients, I don't see why you wouldn't want to learn something that is gonna help you optimize your workflow. One comment I will just briefly make, I'm not being compensated by Oxygen for this. I just strongly believe this is the best way to build WordPress websites, um, and the, the platform is just a great way to do that. So then, um, can you use this for client sites is another question, and, and absolutely yes. You just have to have the right pricing uh, plan or, or license, I should say. So um, if you were an early adopter, these prices were basically the agency plan. So you paid one price and got the agency. Now they have three different tiers. You might not need the agency, but you also might need more than standard. So whatever, whatever makes sense for you. Um, the agency plan is of course what I would buy because 50 bucks more and you get unlimited sites. It doesn't make sense not to do the agency if you're going to be doing this for a long period of time, especially because it is lifetime updates and it's lifetime support. So that brings me to the other main consideration and the main objection people have to this product for whatever reason, which is how can you possibly sustain a business model like this with a one-time payment? Um, let me rewind the clock a bit probably, I guess it's now been a year and a half, two years, possibly more. I think it's been right around two years when I first found out about Oxygen One. I was so excited, fantastic piece of software, um, and it was a lot more difficult to use than, than version two, let me tell you. But at that time, the pricing was just $99 one time. And not only is the support team still intact, the owner of, of Oxygen and WP All Import, which is a guy named Lewis, um, he's still around, he's still very active in the Facebook group, and they, they're still kicking. So he, his point is, we create a great piece of software that turns people into advocates, which then turns people into more customers, which is absolutely true. I've already told one of my good friends that does exactly what I do, um, that he needs to get his clients on oxygen. And so there you go. There's an example firsthand of somebody that, that believes in this product and is telling people, and of course, like I'm telling you here. So really the, the main component of that is that it's really not a, a, an uns unsustainable business model, I don't think. Um, the other thing is that because Oxygen outputs clean, you know, optimized, nice code, there's not a lot of things that are gonna go wrong. Um, there's not a lot of support behind it. Of course, there's no phone number to call, which may scare some people, but it's an internet-based business. You can't really expect that. And as a result, there's not, there's not a super high overhead cost for him. I'm sure the development cost for this software was massive, but I also know that if there's 4,000 people in the Facebook group at the moment and every single one has spent 100 bucks, you can do the math, that's that's a good chunk of change and you should be able to sustain a business off of that for a long period of time. So anyway, all that is to say, um, hopefully these FAQ, th this little FAQ is, is helpful. Um, just to summarize real quick, will it work with my current theme? No, it's a plugin, it's not a theme, that's okay. There's a lot of advantages to it. There is a learning curve, so I would say that yes, this software is for beginners, but if you are even a, what I'll call novice and not even necessarily amateur, um, Having the basic CSS and HTML knowledge or a willingness to figure it out is gonna help you a lot, and you're gonna be so much better than every other person in your area, especially if you're trying to comp compete in, in a local area for um, you know, business. And, and what you can tell people is, I can build the site exactly to your specification. I have people that come to me with um, you know, designs from a, a, a graphic designer, like a PSD template or whatever, and instead of being like, oh, you know, I can kinda do that, I can say, yes, absolutely, I will take exactly what you gave me and turn it into a fully functioning website, which actually happens more often than, than I would think possible. Once you express to people that that's actually possible, I can do that. 
Um, and a lot of times people would say, well, you're not a, you're not a website designer. You're not a developer if you can't do that. And it's like, well, yeah, okay. So maybe that's, that's partly true. But the, the more important side of that is you found a way through oxygen to be able to build a site without actually having to write any code, which allows you to charge a very fair price have good business and have a very sustainable way to to grow your own freelancing um, you know gig or agency or whatever it is that you want to do. You can use it for client sites and the st stability of the pricing model. I don't even think should be a discussion that should be had. Um, and with all of that said, hopefully this has been a helpful FAQ video. If you guys have thoughts or comments, please definitely let me know. I'd also be interested in hearing what other videos you guys would like um, you guys would like to hear. I am really interested in doing things surrounding trying to grow sort of a freelance slash agency type gig. All the things around that as far as the the business entity creating that here in the United States. Um, contracts and how, how to make sure you get paid on time every single time without question, how to get good quality clients and not scrape the bottom, um, all kinds of stuff like that, as well as more Oxygen and WordPress related things like what's the best contact form plugin to use for Oxygen and WordPress and all the other possibilities that we could do. So if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, definitely let me know. Again, my name is Jonathan with Permaslug and I hope to see you guys in a future video.